Maths Olympiad Class 8 Everyday Mathematics Introduction In this chapter, we are going to discuss ratio, proportion, direct variation or direct proportion, inverse variation or inverse proportion, representative fraction, percentage, profit and loss, simple interest, and savings bank account. A. Ratios and results. B. Finding A is to B is to C. C. Proportion and results. D. Direct variation or proportion. E. Inverse variation or proportion. F. Percentage. G. Expressing one quantity to another quantity. H. Find percent of a given quantity. I. Profit and loss. J. Simple interest. K. Savings bank account. In the ratio A is to B, A and B are called its terms. A is called antecedent and second term B is called the consequent. Some examples are given below. Example, divide rupees 107 and 50 paise between A, B and C in such a way that A is to B is equal to 5 is to 4 and B is to C is equal to 3 is to 4. Solution LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. Therefore, A is to B is equal to 5 is to 4. Therefore, 5 into 3 is to 4 into 3 is equal to 15 is to 12. B is to C is equal to 3 is to 4 is equal to 3 into 4. 4 into 4 is equal to 12 is to 16. Therefore, A is to B is to C is equal to 15 is to 12 is to 16. Now, we must divide rupees 107. So, in the ratio, 15 is to 12 is to 16. Total parts is equal to 15 plus 12 plus 16 is equal to 43. Share of A is equal to rupees 15 by 43 into 107.50 is equal to 37.50. Share of B is equal to rupees 12 by 43 into 107.50 is equal to rupees 30. Share of C is equal to rupees 16 by 43 into 107.50 is equal to rupees 40. Proportion If two ratios are equal, then four numbers forming the two ratios in order are said to be in proportion if A by B is equal to C by D. Then A, B, C and D are called first, second, third and fourth terms of proportion respectively. Here A and B are called extremes and B and C are called means. Some examples are given below. Direct variation or direct proportion. If two variables X and Y vary in such a way that their ratio X by Y is a constant K, then X and Y are said to vary directly or in direct variation. K is called the constant of variation of variables x and y vary directly then x by y is equal to k or ky. This is denoted by x infinity y. Some examples are given below. Inverse variation or inverse proportion. If two variables x and y vary in such a way that x y is equal to constant k then X and Y are said to vary inversely or are in inverse variation. If Y varies inversely as X, then Y varies directly as 1 by X and X varies directly as 1 by Y or 
If x and y vary inversely, then x infinity 1 by y or y infinity 1 by x. Example At a constant temperature, the volume V of a gas varies inversely as pressure P. If the pressure on a certain gas is 80 grams by centimeter square, its volume is 45 cc. If P is equal to 25, find V. If V is equal to 75, then find P. Solution Since P varies inversely as V, we got P dot V is equal to K. If P is equal to 80, V is equal to 45. Therefore, 80 into 45 is equal to K or K is equal to 3600. Substitute the value of K in 1. P dot V is equal to 3600. If P is equal to 25, 25 V is equal to 3600. By guess method, we get V is equal to 144. If V is equal to 75, 75 P is equal to 3600. By trial and error or guess, we get P is equal to 48. Example, the RF in a map is 1 by 12,80,000. In this map, distance between Tanuku and Iluru is 4.9 centimeters. Find the actual distance. Solution. RF is equal to 1 by 12,80,000. It means 1 centimeter on a map is equal to 12,80,000 centimeter on ground is equal to 12,80,000 divided by 1,000 into 100 kilometers is equal to 12.8 kilometer. Therefore, scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 12.8 kilometer. Distance between Tanaku and Yeluru in map is 4.9 centimeter. Therefore, actual distance is equal to 4.9 into 12.8 km is equal to 62.7 km. Fractions of the form 1 by 100 are called percentages. Percentage is denoted by the symbol percentage. To convert a common fraction into percent, we must multiply the fraction with 100 and put the percent symbol to the result. To convert a percent into a fraction, we must remove percent symbol, multiply with 1 by 100 and simplify the product. Expressing one quantity as a percentage of another quantity. Example, what percent of rupees 300 is rupees 120? Solution, expressing 120 is 300 as a fraction we get 120 by 300. Therefore, required percent is equal to 120 by 300 into 100 is equal to 120 by 3. Example A person's weight increased from 80 kg to 85 kg. What is the percentage of increase? Solution Increase in weight is equal to 85 minus 80 is equal to 5 kg. Ratio of increase of original weight is equal to 5 is to 80 is equal to 5 by 80. Percentage of increase is equal to 5 by 80 into 100 is equal to 5 by 4 into 5 is equal to 25 by 4 is equal to 6.25%. To find the required percent of a given quantity. If there is an increase of x percent in a quantity, then its value increases by 100 plus x percent over its original value. Multiplying fraction to get the increased value is 100 plus x divided by 100. If there is a decrease of x percent in a quantity, then its value decreases by 100 minus x percent over its original value. Multiplying fraction to get the decreased value is 100 minus x by 100. 
profit and loss results profit is equal to selling price minus cost price selling price is equal to cost price plus profit cost price is equal to selling price minus profit loss is equal to cost price minus selling price cost price is equal to selling price plus loss selling price is equal to cost price minus loss percentage of profit is equal to p by cp into 100 percentage of loss is equal to l by cp into 100 example chandru purchased a scooter for rupees 20000 due to rise in petrol costs he sold it for a loss of 20% what was his selling price solution cost price of scooter is equal to rupees 20000 loss percent is equal to 20% is equal to 20 by 100 is equal to 1 by 5 amount of loss is equal to 1 by 5 of 20,000 is equal to 4,000. Selling price is equal to cost of price minus loss is equal to rupees 20,000 minus rupees 4,000 is equal to rupees 16,000. Types of interest. Interest is of two types, simple interest and compound interest. Simple interest. The interest is calculated only on the principal throughout the load period. It is called simple interest. Formula for calculating simple interest. Interest is equal to P into T into R divided by 100. T is equal to period in years. If period is given in months, it has to be converted into years before applying the formula. Find simple interest on the sum of rupees 500 for 2 by 24 years at 11% per annum. Find the amount. Solution. Given that P is equal to 500, T is equal to 1 by 24, is equal to 9 by 4, R is equal to 11. I is equal to P into T into R by 100. 500 into 9 by 4 into 11 into 1 by 100 is equal to 495 by 4 is equal to rupees 123.75 amount is equal to P plus I is equal to 500 plus 123.75 is equal to rupees 623.75 savings bank account it is one of the various accounts operated by a bank. Account holder deposits or withdraws the money when he needs through withdrawal form or check. 